Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Pisces, I do want to give you guys a quick update. For those of you guys that have been following me for quite a while, you know that around this time of season or these uh, uh, holiday seasons, uh, what we do is we actually um, have the Christmas giveaways as well as we also provide on Instagram, I'm going to be going live on December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time, and I'm going to be giving one question free readings for anyone that wants to join. Um, again, like I said, December the 22nd at 7 p.m. California time. So you guys definitely, if you don't follow me, go def definitely go follow me and make sure to stay tuned to that because I do... It's something we've been doing for the past couple of months. Everyone loves and enjoys, um, and obviously it's free, so uh, definitely jump on it. Um, and for the free giveaways, we will be uh, giving, like you guys, like I mentioned, for those of you guys that have been following me for a while, you already know uh, that we charge amulets and send these off to those of you guys that are winners. Um, we have for money, we have for purification, um, and also with the soap line that we have, by the way, if you guys are interested in getting uh, some of these soaps, definitely check out the link on the description and you'll be able to find all of that on my online store, as well as the powders, oils, everything I use on my channel. But anyways, um, we will also be giving away soaps. So you guys definitely stay tuned for that. I will be announcing on my next spell video how to participate. So with that said, let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019. Now in regards to your finances and business with the earth sector, we have the eight of pentacles. So eight of pentacles, I see you guys working very, very hard. Perhaps some of you guys could be working very long hours. It could be because of the holidays. It could be because you're working on a project. For others of you, it could be even trying to find job, trying to find a job, or trying to find a different outlet to make money. Um, and I do feel that December is going to be very, very beneficial for you guys, especially those of you guys that are trying to get a job. Now is the time to start to apply. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles does talk about, as you guys can see there, them looking clearly at your abilities. And it's almost... Um, it's almost as if working very tirelessly or working very long hours. So you guys may actually be getting hired on uh, to a company or a person that is really needing help at the moment. So I do feel that the transition of getting hired will happen very, very quickly for you. Now, for those of you guys that have your own business, I do see a momentum uh, start to pick up. So you guys will be experiencing more clients, more clientele. Um, more people wanting to get your services. Now, for those of you guys that run, or not run, but work for a company, the Eight of Pentacles, again, like I said, does talk about um, putting in long hours at work. And again, like I said, um, you know, overtime, anything like that, I definitely do see you guys being able to stack up some money, um, but it does come through hard work. Now, in regards to communication, how you will be communicating for the month of December, you have the world card here. So the world card to me is, um, it's a very beautiful card, especially because it's a major arcana. But I do feel that you guys are currently transitioning Pisces. So some of you guys may be, um, I do see for some of you guys travel. Uh, and it could happen within this month or by January. There's going to be uh, travel, not necessarily short trips. I do see like crossing waters. Uh, so it could be going back to your motherland or it could be um, traveling for vacation time, anything like that, as I do see very prosperous and happy type of energy. I don't see it related to business, but it could be related to business. It just depends. It is a general reading. Um, but for those of you guys that feel like you have been experiencing, like you've definitely been challenged, Pisces. I feel that 2019 has been a challenge for you. Um, but this is like the graduation of that. This is like finally being able to have good footing or start new projects that are going to lead to a completion of it. Um, so again, like I said, for, and again, for those of you guys that are trying to get a job, now is the time to do so as I do see the transition, 
the facilitation of you starting new projects, new businesses. For some of you guys, it could even it could even mean starting your own business. Um, and it's something that is going to be in the up and up. So I definitely do see an increase in your finances here. Now, in regards to your challenge for this month, you have here um, the Hermit card. So as a challenge, um, the Hermit is asking us to analyze, to go within ourselves, uh, almost like introspection of where we're at at this point in our lives and what is it that we're trying to accomplish or what is it the path that we want to walk on. For some of you guys, it could be that you are currently going through a situation where you're wanting some type of outcome, uh, whether it's relationships, whether it's, again, like I said, starting your own business, anything like that. What they're saying here with the hermit card is that um, you need to be honest with yourself, Pisces. You need to be completely honest with yourself in what you want and what decisions you're taking or what is it that you're doing now that is going to lead you towards the path that you're wanting. So as an example, if you're wanting to um, go back to school or study, um, whether it is something you've been thinking about or whether it's something you've been wanting to do for a while now, it could represent, okay, you do have the opportunity to do that, but what is it that you've been doing all this time? Stop procrastinating. Now, for others of you, it could represent having the need um, to stop being the hermit itself. Uh, yes, it's important for us to reconnect with ourselves, to uh, check on ourselves spiritually, um, but it's also very important for us to be around people. Why? Because when you become so addicted, and trust me, you guys, solitude could become very uh, a beautiful addiction, um, but again, it is important for you guys to mingle and be around people. You can't just be hermits or be stuck in your home and want changes and want to experience new opportunities and you're not doing anything different. So again, take that for what it is, Pisces. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you have the high priestess. Wow. So you guys have two major arcanas here that are very heavy spiritually. Um, for some of you guys, it could be seeking or going towards something that you're wanting to achieve or you're wanting to accomplish that could be very connected to spirituality. For some of you guys, it could be like taking up classes, um, Reiki, anything that has to do with like enlightenment and spirituality. For others of you, it could even represent like uh, wanting to join a coven or wanting to be part of some type of community um that takes it does take a lot of like knowledge and wisdom for you to be able to attain a certain type of elevation but i definitely do see a lot of like um spiritually inclined or on the pursuit of spiritual uh, happiness so again for some of you guys it could even be going towards or finding a teacher or going towards someone that is very knowledgeable and trying to get uh knowledge or learn some type of practice some type of now, this is, um, it could be religion, but not necessarily. This is just being able to see things on a very different level. And this is speaking to me more about, um, like, the, this is more to me connected with the spiritual realm and the astral realm than that of the physical. So again, if you've been feeling, um, Pisces, if you've been feeling like you are frustrated or you are, like, not getting your way or things are ha becoming very difficult. Um, I think that right now you're being challenged because spirit is telling you, okay, you are aware that I can help you. I can provide the strength, the opportunities and the light to be able to see towards where you're going. Yet you're refusing to either trust me or you're refusing to open your heart wholeheartedly and completely to me. Um, so it's almost like what they're asking you, Pisces, is to not half-ass anything. If you're going to do something and you're trying to accomplish something, you have to do it wholeheartedly, invest yourself in it um, in order to be able to really receive the rewards of that. Um, so pay close attention to that. Also, pay very close attention to your intuition. I feel that your intuition is going to be very much on point. Um, now, for those of you guys that are uh 
currently in a serious long-term committed relationship. The high priestess could represent with the hermit. I see it more like a spiritual connection. So for some of you guys, you may start to experience like you and your partner wanting to learn more about spirituality or coming together more um, or even fortifying and strengthening your relationship based on uh, the spiritual connection or the understanding of the spir spiritual connection that you guys have. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, this can also represent a person coming towards you uh, in the next coming weeks that is going to be very spiritually inclined. And I definitely do see that if you guys can see here, there's like very beautiful like rose bush here. And, and what I'm seeing here is almost like them really nurturing your soul, feeding your soul. Um, and it's like, it's almost like what they're trying to say is, for those of you guys that have been single and have been single for a very long time, you may actually be tested this month with what you have been, what you have been with this pillar, what you have been praying for or asking for. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. What you guys have been asking for or praying for and also with what you tend to usually connect with. Um, I see duality here. So what they're telling me is that you yourself perhaps have been asking or requesting the universe or petitioning uh, to find true genuine love. And I feel that the universe is going to give to you two options, but one of them is what will nurture your soul, what will make you a better person. And the other has more to do with temptation. Pay attention to that. Now, I'm going to be uh, pulling out a card from the Moonology Oracle Cards, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit's direct message for you is for the month of December 2019. Pisces. My, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Spirit guides, what is the message you're trying to convey or communicate to Pisces for the month of December 2019? All right. And your message is a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. All right. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Virgo energy. For others of you, you may start to experience, again, like I said, um, some type of awakening, whether it's like a belief system. I feel that it's more connected to spirituality, though. But for some of you guys, it could just represent almost like being able to, like I was mentioning earlier, asking the universe for certain things. And then when we get them or when we receive them, you weren't such emotionally invested in it that you just take it as, oh, wow, that's crazy. This happened. But then you forget about it. And when you start to struggle or when you start to have difficulties, uh, you're praying for things and there's more resistance there. And then it's almost like, I can't, like, why is this happening to me? But what they're saying is, again, with, with your spirit guides, I feel that they're like, well, we're trying to help you, but you're not really paying attention or you're not learning. <clears throat> so pay attention to that. Um, a time to give rather than to take. I feel it's that moment where we look at ourselves in the mirror and we've been trying to avoid that. Um, so it, it, it is definitely like a shakeup. I think um, that it has more to do with a shakeup of, for some of you guys, it could be just being able to let go of certain ideas ideologies, things that instead of helping you progress in life, they have become or hindered you at some point. And it's shedding of other people's ideas, values, and morals, um, and being able to finally be able to walk your own path, Pisces. So I think that that's going to be happening for you guys for this month of December. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed these readings, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.